the length of day and night likely to be around 12 hour while in india in month of november you are noticing that the length of day here hello everyone i am sanjeev kumar faculty of geography today i bring another topic daytime saving concept what does mean by this daytime saving concept we will understand within this lecture so before starting this daytime saving concept you should know that when there is 12 pm at particular local place sunrise in the east and set in the west means earth rotate from west to east with respect to it there is appearance that sun rising in the east and setting in the west at particular point of time at particular place the local time generally vary as per met a uh, meridian position as per longitudinal position of that particular place so if there is 12 pm means this is noon time this noon time is fixed with respect to position of sun when sun is at highest position at particular place okay now generally as per change in the meridian there is change in the local time so we can understand that earth which rotate in 24 hours how much one rotation equivalent to 360 degree so we can say that one hour equivalent to 15 degree or we can say 30 minute equivalent to 7 and half degree further we conclude 4 minute equivalent to 1 degree so this is regarding the time so all the time zone across the globe generally are in multiplication of 7 and half degree longitude all standard time zone standard time zone across the globe but we need to understand that the sunrise timing and sunset timing are different different in different region we generally say that japan and surrounding countries are generally rising sun region where sun rise and towards western side sun sets okay but this rise and set does not occur across all the latitude at same time period it does not occur at particular point of time means if we talk about variation in length of day and night variation in length of day and night generally experience more towards polar region and experience less towards the equatorial region if i ask you one question consider equatorial region like indonesia tropic of cancer region like india or some high altitude region like siberia or arctic region where will be maximum variation in length of day and night so your answer probably will be arctic region now why it is so because the sun rays generally likely to be remain absent for longer time period especially when sun move apparently overhead of tropic of capricorn i hope you are well aware about 
अपरेंट मूवमेंट ऑफ सन विद रेस्पेक्ट टू डिफरेंट लेटिट्यूडनल पोजिशन सो जनरली यू कैन से सन रेज फॉल वर्टिकल ओवर द इक्वेटर रीजन इन मंथ ऑफ मार्च इन मंथ ऑफ सेप्टेम्बर especially around 21st march year 23rd september sun rays generally fall vertical but sun apparently shift towards tropic of cancer 23 and half degree north yeah sun apparently shift towards tropic of capricorn 23 and half degree south in month of june and month of december respectively means around 22nd december sun rays fall vertical over head of tropic of capricorn around 21st june sun rays fall vertical over head of tropic of cancer it means when this earth is tilted like this when sun is just located overhead of tropic of capricorn then the northern hemisphere go out of range particularly the northernmost pole the region especially the arctic region beyond 66 and half degree latitude go away from the sun rays while the southern hemisphere particularly this antarctic circle likely to be come under with an illumination zone so if we talk about these countries then high latitudinal countries especially all the states which are located in high altitude region in usa greenland most of the european countries including britain france germany etc and some of the high latitudinal region although this most of the region seems to be quite frigid and there are very large desert region particularly in part of russia yet the travel people or countries ya yeah, states or provinces which are situated here they face more variation in length of day and night further in southern of america and southern part of australia or new zealand there is more variation in length of day and night let's suppose this month of november and month of november talk about india now what is the time of sun rise probably let's say 7:30 am in the morning now sunset at what time sunset so sun likely to be set around suppose 5:30 pm now if you talk about this indonesia malaysia ya maldives all such countries even let's say andaman and nicobar in india the sun rise over here likely to be around 6:30 am sunset likely to be around 6:30 pm so in equatorial countries the length of day and night likely to be around 12 hour while in india in month of november you are noticing that the length of day here likely to be around 10 to 11 hours further it will decrease more in december month or january month means the length of day likely to be around maybe 9 hour 10 hour and length of night likely to be increase up to 14 hours 15 hours like that gradually particularly around uh, the summer solstice around 22nd december from 22nd december onwards the length of day is started to decrease from 23rd september onwards the length of night is started to increase length of day is started to decrease but if you talk about let's suppose germany now same condition here november month the sun rise at present 
likely to be around 8:30 am in the morning now sunset sunset likely to be around 7 pm in the morning further in month of december this time likely to be increase more means sunrise will be around 9 am 8:45 9 am sunset will be around 8 pm in the evening or night time period so as we are moving up from equator region as we are moving up from this equatorial regions towards south pole towards north pole generally there is increase in variation of length of day and night if i ask you what is the reason behind it what is the cause for it so the cause is simple that is tilt of earth axis tilt of earth's axis if there will be not any tilt then there might not be any kind of variation means across the globe all the countries likely to be experience the same length of day and night 12 hour day 12 hour night but due to this tilt further due to this rotation and mainly the revolution revolution and tilt is responsible for variation in length of day and night okay we have understood this now these countries which are represented here in same color generally follow the daytime saving concept and all these states of usa all these european countries likely to be shift their clock one hour ahead they likely to be shift their clock one hour ahead generally in month of march or in month of april while they likely to be return to their original time period in month of november or in month of october it vary from country to country okay let's understand what does mean by this daytime saving concept so daytime saving how it assist the countries what are its application which countries are following why they are following what are the problems suppose this month of november on 3rd november second uh, on 3rd november this is first sunday in month of november the usa likely to be return to this original time means most of the state in usa likely to be return to their original time period okay earlier they started uh, in month of march on second sunday they shift their clock one hour ahead means if you calculate at present on 2nd november if you calculate the time difference between usa and india okay the time difference likely to be one hour less than its original time difference if you calculate time difference between india and uk it will be 4 hour 30 minute at present but when uk likely to be returned to its original time period then time difference again likely to be 5 hour 30 minute because the prime meridian which is passing through greenwich mean time observatory in london from there meridian is started that is 0 degree meridian and india's time standard meridian is 82 and 1/2 degree if you Uh, divide 82 and half, so it will be 75 plus 7 and half means 75, 15, 5 0. So 15 degree equivalent to one hour, five. So it means five hour plus seven and half means 30 minute. India is five hour 30 minute ahead of London time. Okay, but at present it is technically four hour 30 minute ahead from London time period. Day time saving concept. now daytime saving means generally country 
n month of spring particularly n march month ya april month these countries advance their clock by 1 hour during autumn time period means n month of october n month of november they return to their original time period means they set their clock back 1 hour by reducing this 1 hour which was extended ahead so most of these high latitudinal countries the people inside these countries are well aware about it and it is followed from centuries means from very long time period it is followed although the origin of daytime saving concept is considered in 1908 in canada yet it did not came into world attention during 1918 around first world war this concept was followed by some of the countries further during 1970s when countries most of the countries face energy crisis they also pay attention towards daytime saving concept means during world war hitler uh, britain and some of other country okay germany britain and some other countries they realized that there is requirement of saving of daytime means naturally whatever is the light time period daytime it should be utilized in more working activities and night hours should be utilized only for rest suppose that i took example of this germany that if sun rise here if sun rising here suppose that in uh, summer month around 4:30 am this is time of summer and if sun set here around 8:30 pm suppose that if office time of people will be from 10 am to 6 pm or 7 pm with respect to government or private organization then if sun rise occur around 7:30 means after 7:30 generally agriculture work ya local work local activity household work likely to be started because some of the work naturally more suitable during early hours especially some of agriculture and associated activities so locally people likely to be started their work around 5:30 just after 1 hour maximum from the sunrise time period but suppose if people wake up around 5:30 what they should do by 10 am if they are just uh, you know daily wage worker if they are salary holders means if they are active in certain kind of professions or job what they likely to be do within just 5:30 to 10 am it is very long time period so they likely to be uh, waste this time in sleeping yeah this time may not be utilized properly further when they will leave the office and they return to their home yeah they will do their work then gradually there will be appearance of night time period means darkness then they used to torch vehicle light to return their home they used to lit bulb lamp or whatever other things for doing their household work 
But suppose if we shift naturally the clock one hour advance, then automatically, technically, in a state of 10 a.m., it will be 9 a.m. Technically, according to natural clock, it will be 5 p.m. The office leaving time period. If they will leave office at 5 p.m., then they likely to be returned within day daylight without torching their light vehicle. Further, Hitler also realized that if early hours can be utilized in shifting troops, military troops, movement of arm ammunition material during world war, then lot of energy can be protected. If they advance their clock one hour, means they require less burning of fuel, less consumption of energy because the entire night time period from 8.30 to 4.30 a.m. likely to be spent entirely within sleep because if people will be free at 5 p.m. from their office within 2, 3, 4 hours they likely to be accomplish all their work, household work and they likely to be sleep even before 8.30 p.m. So, if suppose one household is able to preserve or yeah, able to consume less, maybe two unit, then all the household, how much unit likely to be saved. Okay. So this is how the daytime saving concept technically, how these countries are setting their time period. Suppose that consider USA. The country in USA uh, or especially in uh, various states, okay, uh, there are 50 states and out of these 50 states, more than 40 states follow daytime saving in USA. So within USA, what they do, most of these states, suppose that on second Sunday in month of March, means if we talk about 2024, then this date was 10 March. It was 10 March. On 10 March, people know and government also announced and government also said over atomic clock, over different other uh, official clock, that in the night on 10 March, when there will be one, when there will be 159, 59 means 1 hour, 59 minute, 59 second, then just ahead of it, the time should be 2, 0, 0, 0, 0. But it does not occur, rather they shift, they advance their clock directly from 2 to 3 means after 1 hour 59 minute 59 second the time generally experience within the clock is 3 0 0 0 0 technically in the night there is loss of 1 hour further in month of november what usa do in month of November, what this USA do or most of the states in USA, suppose that it is time period of 2 a.m. 2 a.m. in the night. Okay. So, if this is One fifty nine, fifty nine means one hour, fifty nine minute, fifty nine second, a.m. in the night. Then again, naturally time should be two zero 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 two hour zero minute zero second. But technically it is not. What they do? Again, there will be one zero zero 
जीरो जीरो ए एम मीन्स आफ्टर वन फिफ्टी नाइन मिनट फिफ्टी नाइन सेकेंड अगेन दे आर लाइक टू बी वन ए एम मीन्स दिस वन आर फ्रॉम वन टू टू इज रिपीटेड ट्वाइस इट इज रिपीटेड ट्वाइस टू टाइम्स वाइल इन मंथ ऑफ मार्च दे जनरली शिफ्ट फ्रॉम टू टू डायरेक्ट थ्री पी एम थ्री ए एम इन दी नाइट दिस इज मार्च सो दे डिड ऑन टेंथ मार्च दिस एक्सरसाइज एंड दे डिड दिस एक्सरसाइज ऑन थर्ड नवंबर टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी फोर नाउ इट सीम्स टू बी नाइस वेरी गुड कंसेप्ट for preserving or reducing the energy but what are its application what are its side effect what are problems that with due course of time have raised the sentiment of the people and now people are no more satisfied with this concept they are looking to renounce this two times change in the time to renounce such kind of practices which is no more helpful in current time okay now what are the problems that are associated with it generally there is disturbance in the natural clock means there is highly disturbance in the natural clock people generally unable to sleep properly because one hour is skipped because one hour they lost during month of march further there is again returning to their original time in month of november so within a year two time it disturb their sleep if their sleep is disturbed they are not properly have sleep during the night time period a proper rest then they are likely to be as per different survey experience that little bit slight increment in the accident within a uh, road accident within industries or in certain other places there are gradual increment in the accidents further there are also disturbances of not only human being but also pet ya all all their local surrounding okay further no such energy saving as it is proposed because you are noticing that even during month of uh, summer or during month of winter ya during spring time period ya autumn time period because due to advancement of technology because under roof uh, various other construction activities ya various other uh, services ya manufacturing work that is occurring it required near about similar kind of consumption of the energy further it is not necessarily that energy consumption is only limited to such things there are various applications and various form energy is utilized okay means sun rising or sunset may slightly impact the energy consumption and these are other industrial activities which generally set the energy consumption amount okay so no such energy saving because of advancement in the technologies uh, because of uh, life change in the lifestyle of the people further you know create difficulty in administration means all the people across all the region all the states need to set their clock two times so it also create differences it is major problem especially for illiterate people for low level understanding people why such practices are followed okay so administration it is not inconvenience further uh, you know there are various apprehension which raised against it now there are certain agitation protest against it so due to all such protest we notice there was sunset 
रूट एक्शन बिल दिस बिल वॉज इंट्रोड्यूस इन टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी टू इट इज सनसेट प्रोटेक्शन बिल टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी वन नाउ सीनेट ऑफ यूएसए सीनेट इज अपर हाउस जस्ट लाइक इन इंडिया वी हैव द राज्यसभा एंड यूएसए दे हैव द सीनेट सीनेट हैज अप्रूव दिस बिल नाउ इट इज अंडर हाउस ऑफ रिप्रेजेंटेटिव इन इंडिया वी हैव द लोकसभा एंड यूएसए दे हैव हाउस ऑफ रिप्रेजेंटेटिव so it require approval for the house of representative as well as assent of president of usa then this practice likely to be renounced for forever after 2015 since 2024 more than 13 countries more than 30 countries they have renounced they have leave this day time saving concept because there are less advantages there are more disturbances that created by daytime saving concept although it seems to be very suitable usable during world war time period during 1970s when countries face energy crisis but now due to advancement in technology there are various sources n number of sources for generation of energy means sunlight itself is good source within the tropical or torrid zone of the earth for this energy probably by 2040 or 50 most of the countries likely to be renounce this practice european parliament already passed such resolution that this is no more uh, relevant concept at present so daytime saving rather than helping countries it is creating more problem in management and administration so here i am ending my discussion thank you very much and next lecture i will bring another important topic thank you bye bye